Kia ora, my name is Rania Lani from the liaison team at Lincoln University. Today joining me is HOD and Associate Professor Tracy Ann De Silva to tell us all about the Bachelor of Commerce, Agriculture and Professional Accounting. However, before we get started, Tracy Ann, could you please take a moment and introduce yourself, a little bit about why you enjoy your subject area as well as your role at Lincoln University? Yes, hi everyone. So I've been teaching accounting at Lincoln University for over 15 years. At the moment, I'm also their head of department, which means that I oversee the accounting and finance programs that we teach at both the undergrad and the postgrad level, including our research students. What I love about accounting, and especially accounting at Lincoln, is the ability to get to know the students that are in our programs and to help them to be successful, not only in their studies, but also in their careers. And one of the things I love most about accounting is that you get to be a trusted business advisor. So one of the key roles is helping businesses to be successful. I'm not sure how you get better than that. I love how passionate you are about this. So if we could please take a little bit of a closer look, what can students expect to learn? Well, the key thing about the Bachelor of Commerce, Agriculture and Professional Accounting is that it's a program with the best of both worlds. You get everything that's in the BCom Ag, but you also get all of the professional accounting as well. So you're going to cover business and commerce, you're going to cover farm management, you're going to cover science and also accounting. Great. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about the classes? Is there any practical work involved? Yeah, so the classes are a mix across the different discipline areas that you'll do. And the classes are often really small. Um, and if you have a larger class, what we do is we break it down into smaller groups. The key focus at Lincoln is on your ability to learn and at least on our ability to teach you. So our key thing is about helping you to learn, and we reckon that doing that in small focus groups is the best way. The practical work is quite significant in the sense that you have field trips and field tours in each course. You also have a number of industry guest speakers that will get involved in your program, and that's across the farm management and the science, as well as the accounting. And then with the BCom Ag and Professional Accounting, you also have 30 weeks practical requirements. You typically do over the summer periods as well. I think one of Lincoln University's key strengths is our out of class experience that you do get to gain a part of your degree. So let's say I graduate with this qualification. What kind of career or what kind of career path can I see myself in? Is there a, a demand for this qualification out in the workforce? It's a really good question because the BCom Ag and Professional Accounting opens up many doors, all of the career pathways that are open to the BCom Ag students as well as so many more. One of the key areas that you can get into or career paths is rural accounting and there is such a shortage of rural accountants or farm accountants out there that we've got a lot of employers contacting us looking for really good grads. We also, uh, through this degree, you can graduate and go into rural consulting, or you could go into rural banking careers as well. Great. Now, lastly, what is the best advice you can give to school students in regards to their subject selection at school, which will ultimately help them at university? I think the key thing is to learn as much as you can at school and not get too hung up on the subjects and whether they relate to what you choose to do at university. Often when you're going through school, you don't know what you're going to do at university. So please don't get hung up on whether you've done accounting or business at school or agribusiness or sciences. Having some science background will certainly help you in this degree, but it's not essential and neither is any other course at school. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Tracy Ann. If you're you, most welcome. If you have any questions at all or would like more information about what we just discussed, please pop on over to your career advisor's office and they will be sure to get you in touch with your Lincoln University liaison officer for your school. Bye for now and see you next time.